Good morning, everyone. My name is Venice Tran, and I'm a solution engineer here at Salesforce. And I'm here to show you how Salesforce can help you and your business achieve your goals. For our demonstration today, I have the lovely Kimberly, who's going to be driving our demo. And we're going to take you through a vision of just how Bitten uses Salesforce's platform for their customer service and maintenance needs. Now, our story starts off with Venice. Yes, sounds very similar to my name, it is. Um, and Venice is actually not working at Salesforce in our story. She's actually a customer service representative at Bitten. And like a lot of people around the world, she started working from home overnight. Now, Venice may continue working from home tomorrow, or maybe she might go into the office. Luckily, Venice uses Salesforce's platform, which allows her to stay connected with her customers and her stakeholders, no matter where in the world she is. Okay, so today Venice is logging in and views all her customer service cases from the case command center, which gives her a list of all the service and maintenance inquiries that have come through from all the different channels straight into the one place in Salesforce. Now, instead of picking and choosing, Venice is actually going to use Omnichannel. And what Omnichannel does is it pushes the right case to Venice based on her skill set, availability, and capacity. She sees this case from Lauren and accepts it. Now, gone are the days that Venice has to toggle between multiple screens to get an understanding of her customer and their most recent interactions. All the related information that may be needed is available in this one screen, whether it be past service inquiries, past marketing interactions, or maybe even any financial and invoice information from our customer, Lauren. In fact, 79% of service professionals say it's impossible to provide a great customer service without that full customer view. And Bitten knows that their service and customer support team and need to stay agile. Now, customers are demanding, just like probably you and I, to use the knowledge that they have about you to provide that better experience. Now, if we look at this inquiry, Lauren's describing her worry about possible termites at her home. Venice walk, wants to walk Lauren through the process of clarifying if her pests are termites or not. Give her some peace of mind. Instead of having to wait for someone to come in, maybe a technician, to confirm that, she wants to do that right now on the spot. So what she's going to do is send Lauren an invitation to engage in an interactive visual support session where Venice will be able to see exactly what Lauren sees right from her mobile phone right now. So we'll send that invitation through straight from the console and Lauren will receive a text message. Uh, Lauren can open up that text message and you'll notice that Lauren doesn't need to download anything. All she does is it takes her to a browser and it asks her to uh, agree to the terms and conditions, uh, agrees to share her camera, we wanna make sure, and agrees to share her location. And just like that, Venice is gonna be able to see exactly what Lauren sees. Again, this is so powerful because our customer here doesn't have to download any software. She doesn't have to get any other device and she can just use her mobile phone. Now, Venice is gonna use augmented reality annotations to interactively guide Lauren around her home and has the options to possibly take photos if she wants to, scan barcodes and QR codes. I know we're all super familiar with uh, scanning QR codes, but not only that, we can also scan text. So if there is a bunch of text that needs to be um, captured, we don't need to do that in a manual process. We can actually start to do that in a scanning option. So there you can see the augmented reality on the screen. And the really cool thing is what Venice can start to do here is she can capture the additional information about this inquiry. Venice can make sure she captures photos, captures the additional information, scans any text, and then is able to use that to triage, but not only that, but pass that to our technician if a technician needs to go out. And that really helps that technician because they can capture that information beforehand and complete their jobs faster and quicker throughout the day. Now, unfortunately, Venice identifies that it is termites and goes ahead and books a technician for Lauren. So let's fast forward. And Lauren is looking forward to her appointment with her bitten technician. Now, Lauren hops onto her laptop and wants to make sure she her home is ready. She's not really done an inspection like this before. So she wants to make sure that everything she needs to do is ready for the day. Um, 
Now, Lauren searches for termite inspection preparation guide and thanks to COVID last year has actually learned to become a lot more tech savvy. In fact, 87 service, 87% 87 of service professionals say customers have increased their use of digital channels during the pandemic. She arrives on Bitten's portal and is empowered to find answers to her questions as well. She starts to read through this article and she starts to understand exactly what to expect. But as she's reading through this, she recognizes that Freedom Day is here or just around the corner for some of us. And the appointment that she has booked is actually going to be unavailable for her to attend. Now, Lauren's pretty time poor. She doesn't want to have to pick up a phone call and be on the wait time to talk to someone. So she wants to ch check out the service channels that Bitten provides for her to use. Now, Lauren's actually happy to see that Bitten meets her where she wants to be met, whether that is natively to connect via the phone, chat, SMS, um, she's going to be able to have a consistent experience over those different channels. Now, Lauren engages with WriterBot. Now, what WriterBot is automatically doing is understanding who Lauren is, we're capturing, making sure who Lauren is, and then we're going to understand and ask a series of questions to understand what Lauren's intent and triage her query. And it's going to present to her the right information about her upcoming appointment. And the really awesome thing here is that those scheduling recipes that are baked into the solution are also in place here. So Lauren's territory, the type of job this is, the technician skill set, and the SLAs are all going to be considered when these options are presented for Lauren to decide an alternative time for that appointment. And no matter if Lauren had engaged with this bot via a chat like this, maybe she wanted to do an, even an SMS or maybe even WhatsApp, and um, she'd have that consistent experience and that same bot presented to her. Lauren books in that appointment and is looking forward to meeting her technician, I think, later that afternoon. <laughs> now, before we jump into that appointment, let's actually view from the lens of what this appointment and all other service appointments that are through the eyes of our what we call our field service dispatcher view. Now, 75% of decision makers say field service is key to their overall strategy. And if we look at this screen, we can view all the service appointments in the one screen for today, where we have the ability to segment the crews uh, on the road by territories, and we can see which appointments they've completed in green, which are in progress in purple, and which are dispatched and scheduled in blue and amber, yellow. I never know what that color that is. Um, using a drag and drop functionality, our dispatchers can actually drag any unscheduled appointments to the appropriate technician, as well as have the ability to select all those appointments and schedule them based on the business policies. Now, if we take a look um, and we see what's happening in the middle of this screen, one of our technicians might have called in sick. And if they do call in sick, we need to clear the remainder of their schedules. Now, in the past, our technicians would have to handle hundreds of alerts like this manually. Someone's running late, um, someone's uh, sick, or someone's just unavailable and something's come up. But now we have automation tools like scheduling recipes that will automatically reassign this job to the next available technician, allowing our dispatchers to manage what we call true exceptions, where they need to get involved to support their technicians or maybe build those relationships with a customer. Okay, so it's later that afternoon, uh, and now let's view this appointment from Alan's perspective, our technician who's on the road. Now, Alan is mobile, and he hardly sits at a desk. And thanks to Salesforce's mobile technician app, he has access to all the information about his day at his fingertips to get the work done and the first time around. Now, Alan views his next upcoming job with Lauren, and he sets his status to travel. And what this is actually going to do is automatically trigger a notification to Lauren that Alan is en route. What the pandemic has started to do is add an additional safety burden, but at the same time has also um, created new opportunities for revenue as many businesses have started to go mobile. And what will happen once we send that uh, notification travel to en route is Lauren will receive a text message. Uh, this message will allow her to understand who her technician is, how far they are from her. Um, exactly, you can even put a photo of our technician in there and their name, maybe even a little bit more of a personalized note if you wanted to. What we're doing here and we're driving here is really creating a more personalized and trusted interaction 
with our customers and field service technicians. So there it is, Lauren's feeling much more comfortable that she knows exactly who Alan is and who Alan, what Alan looks like and how far away he is. Now, Alan also has access to get turn by turn directions to his destination, as well as Lauren's information right at his fingertips. Alan also has all the details of the past work that's been done on this location if he wants to educate himself on the past inspections um, that have been done here. Now, from the mobile app, Alan completes any health and safety checklist, any OHS checklist that we have, making sure he's got all parts of his equipment ready, as well as got his goggles on, his, um, I think it's also his uh, helmet on, and also clocks in for his timesheet for this job. Now, Alan uses Actions Toolkit to complete the work, which guides him through a series of steps and processes to complete the job, as well as to make sure that he doesn't forget anything to do. What this Action Toolkit allows us to do is make sure that if there are certain stages where we want to make sure that Alan is taking a photo, uh, we've completed a certain step, we're able to be able to do that straight from the mobile app that will automatically sync straight into Salesforce and be able to be attached to service reports as well as even invoices if we really wanted to. Gone are the days he needed to fumble around with sheets of paper and what needs to be done. It's all in this one place. And with a click of a few button, his work steps have been logged as well as his timesheets added as well as the products that were consumed on site. All right, let's wrap up that appointment while I introduce you very quickly to automated invoices and dashboards. With our job complete, Alan is able to update his post-job notes right from his mobile app. Um, and these will be automatically synced to Lauren's invoice. We can also have additional information like the parts that were consumed, uh, even our labor costs also added. This ensures that no invoice falls to the cracks and that all invoices are sent in a timely and insured manner straight away after the appointment, if that's what we want. And Lauren, our customer can receive that. And this can all be done automatically. Now, Venice and the leadership team have data from our customers at all different customer experience touch points from all the different channels and can track operational metrics such as customer satisfaction, SLA compliancy, revenue sourced by our agents who are out on the road, um, as well as the different types of work that's being done using Salesforce's standard reporting and dashboard. Now, these beautiful uh, dashboards have real-time reports underpinning all of the data, allowing us to click into any of these pictures. And what you would do is drill down into the report as well as then be able to individually drill down into that specific record. So you can go from an eagle eye view all the way down to specifics by a click of a few buttons.